to a first look at Windows 8.1 Update 1. Uh, now this is supposed to be a uh, Windows 8.1 update that is coming out in spring of 2014. However, uh, a build of it was leaked, uh, or rather uh, the updates were placed uh, on the public Microsoft Update servers and they could have stayed there, I believe, uh, like without anyone knowing because they had a, a certain file name or something like that. But uh, some people found them and uh, pretty much downloaded them. And uh, I was lucky enough to actually uh, be able to uh, install them uh, on this virtual machine here. So we're going to be taking a look at all the new features uh, in this update. Uh, now, this is not uh, you know publicly available yet. So uh, if you have uh, you know gotten access to this, I would not uh, actually recommend uh, installing this on your uh, you know actual main Windows 8.1 computer. Uh, that's why I have it installed uh, in a virtual machine here. Uh, so the first thing uh, that you're going to notice um, is that uh, in the taskbar here, we have a Windows Store shortcut in here now. Before you could not pin uh, modern UI apps uh, to, to the taskbar, but now you can. Uh, and this is pretty much uh, one of many features that uh, is supposed to get desktop users back into using Windows because I'm sure that a lot of desktop users uh, didn't really like all the new features that Windows 8 brought. And uh, Windows 8.1 fixed some of them, and now this uh, you know minor update. Uh, so, sort of like Windows 8.1.1, uh, I, I guess you'd call it. It's not really like officially called that. Uh, but uh, it's just bringing a, a few new uh, features to Windows 8.1. So, if we go over uh, to the start screen here, uh, you're, you're going to notice that uh, the actual taskbar stays here uh, while we're on the uh, modern UI start screen until we actually mouse up. Uh, then it uh, you know just you know kind of fades away like that, and you're going to notice that we now have next to our user icon up here we have some power options up here, and we have a search option. Now this was not available at all uh, in Windows before, and now they've just placed these options here. Obviously, for those with a desktop PC, unlike those that have you know uh, tablets, because before. Uh, to actually shut down uh, your computer, you had to go, uh, I, I believe, all the way up here to the charms menu, go into settings, and then power, and it was, you know, kind of hidden in here. Now they just kind of brought it out here, uh, and it's much easier uh, to get to. Uh, and you can also notice that uh, the actual start screen, well, it doesn't really look that much different until we actually go uh, to moving apps around. If you right click on any app, you can see that we now have context menus instead of that large, uh, you know, tablet-like menu that will come up uh, on the bottom. We now have, you know, classic Windows context menus uh, th that are here, and we have the exact same options. We have unpin from start, and actually this is new, pin the taskbar. So let's just do that, and I will show you how that works. Now, if we go back to the desktop, you can see that we have the mail app is now pinned to the taskbar. So now, if I just, uh, you know click on that here it's going to bring up the mail app if we mouse up to the top here you're gonna see we get we get sort of like a uh, classic Windows uh, I guess you know header or like you know window header type of thing and we get uh, a minimize and uh, close option here there is no uh, you, you know option to make a uh, full screen modern UI app into a much smaller window to run on the desktop yet I think that if Microsoft were to do that then it would make uh, a lot of people that use desktop computers want to use the main, uh, you know, actual modern UI stuff. But if we click on, uh, you know, minimize, it'll just go right down to the taskbar, and we can open it up again. And we can also click on close up here, and we get a nice little fading uh, closing animation. Uh, and that is pretty much all there is, I believe, for the start menu. Uh, let's also uh, let's just launch uh, OneDrive here. I can show you uh, something else with uh, full screen apps. Oh, and also OneDrive. Uh, SkyDrive has been changed to OneDrive because Microsoft, I think they were sued uh, by a company that had uh, a, a very similar name uh, to SkyDrive. So 
they had, had to change the name to OneDrive, and in Windows 8.1 Update 1, uh, the actual app is now changed to OneDrive. Let's just mouse up here, and we're going to get the same window title uh, to pop down. And now if we right-click, uh, you're going to see... I, I think you have to do it on the little icon over here. If you right-click on the icon, you can see that we get uh, some options. You can get split left, split right, minimize, maximize, or close. Uh, now, maximize is uh, grayed out, I'm guessing, because you can't maximize. It's, you know, fully maximized. Uh, but if we click on split right, it'll just go uh, over here to, to the right. And if we mouse up here again, we can go over to the icon, and now we can just close it, and it goes away. And now it is uh, off of um, the taskbar down here. And uh, one more thing that is new, uh, if we go to the taskbar properties, we have uh, a new uh, little option here, show Windows Store apps on the taskbar. So if I uncheck that, you're going to see that, uh, well actually I don't have any uh, Windows Store apps installed, but if I did, uh, they would uh, not show here. And now if I check this again, uh, all my Windows Store apps uh, would show. And I think that everything else is pretty much the same in here. Uh, also something that I noticed is... Um, now, uh, when you turn on uh, your computer, uh, it is set to boot uh, to the desktop by default. It does not boot into uh, the modern UI, and that's something, of course, uh, for desktop users. Uh, and, of course, you can turn that off, I believe, in here. Uh, now, this is checked uh, by default uh, in, instead of being uh, unchecked, and you have to go in here and check it and all that. And uh, one more thing is in the settings app here so let's just go into the settings app uh, let me find that here I don't think I have that up here I gotta go down uh, oh and actually in the apps view now uh, they are now sorted a, uh, a little bit differently as you can see we got a much nicer uh, you know sorting and we can now sort by uh, well actually this was here before but we now have uh, a much nicer sorting style here and yeah see this is this is all new here and we can go to uh, let's say Windows System, and of course we don't have a lot of apps installed on here, but uh, a much nicer way of uh, keeping all these apps organized. So just going to PC settings here, and there is uh, one new uh, PC settings pane, and that I believe is in it's under PC and devices, and it is a disk space. This is all new, uh, so we'll uh, you know let it load up here. And this is uh, a new pane. I'm, I'm, I think they had something like this before, but it wasn't designated to its own like uh, actual pane uh, on the settings app. But you can see it shows how much space we have left. And it shows uh, Windows Store apps, which we don't have any installed. And it also shows uh, all of your media and files and uh, how much space uh, that they actually take up. I'm not sure if this is new, this uh, control panel option down here. That will just bring up the uh, classic control panel. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for a first look at Windows 8.1 Update 1. If I missed anything in this update, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and I will do sort of like a, I guess, follow-up video to this. And also, what do you guys think of the first update to Windows 8.1? Do you think that it's going to start bringing more people into using Windows 8? Or do you think it's just uh, like a very minor upgrade that's not going to do much? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.